I personally think all of us have been touched by this experience and all of us have the strength and the ability to go on and basically better our community and um, definitely take um, our experience from Pakistan and use it for the greater good. You know, we've all kind of grown together and we all have that bond and relationship. Um, and we've all kind of got ourselves through it. Because without everyone, I don't think anyone could have just done it on their own. You know, you kind of need the other people, members of your team, to kind of be there for you to talk to and express your feelings to. You don't know like what to do with all these emotions. Like they just you try to juggle them around, but you can't. And then like they fall out of place, and then you start like uh, then and then someone comes up to you, like, oh, you can't. Yeah, yeah. I'm alright, man. I'm just uh, just look. It's so beautiful. I'm crying. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's it's really it's really nice to you know experience it because. You don't get, you know, in the, in the UK, you don't get that much. You don't get that. You don't experience those feelings like every day. So when you do experience them, you should like cherish them and like, you know hold them on forever, if possible. And my perception of Pakistan has changed quite a lot, actually. I think I've got so much out of this trip that I didn't even know that I that was there. Uh, my perceptions were terrorism, um, Islam, and probably the flooding. But I think. There's more to this country than everyone even realises. I mean, we've explored so many parts of Pakistan that no one even would imagine doing it in 12 days. I think they've changed quite a lot because, I mean, it's just so beautiful and I've finally realised that I've not, that these past weeks I've not had the media and individuals like trying to tell me what Pakistan's like. I've kind of found it myself and the people that I've met and the opportunities that I've had, it's really made me see the real Pakistan. I think the, the biggest thing I've learned is like uh, to kind of look beneath it all, like to look past that children are like working in dirt and look past that children, you know, might not have as good condition, living conditions as people in the UK, but there's, it's just, there's more to it than that. There's happy children there and there's children who appreciate being in a community and love where they live. And there's a lot more to Pakistan just being a country in poverty. Like if we came over here and we assume, um, like our final assumption was that Pakistan's a country that's in poverty and that the children are poor and stuff, and that's just exactly what we've been told by the media. I feel like I've had a, I've, I've had a greater compassion um, for for Pakistan because it's very difficult being from a certain heritage, but not having like a direct connection and not having that direct understanding. It was just experience in general. Um, it really opened my eyes out to what the country was like. Obviously, it's my motherland, and it was the first time being there, and it was really special to me in that sense. Um, so it's nice to see, you know, a part of my own culture that I haven't really experienced an authentic, you know, feel for it before. And it's only until I got to that experience, you know, what it's really like. And I'm just grateful for that experience. It's really helped me as a person, helped me better understand where my family roots are and where I've come from. I was really impressed with the work that the Active Citizens were doing in Mirpur and the way in which they were working towards helping the younger generation and getting the children off the streets and providing them with an education in order for them to have a brighter future. The journey in which that we've had in Pakistan has been completely positive. Uh, there hasn't been any sort of negativity towards us in any way. I'm not going to look at Pakistan as a time where it's kind of like I'm leaving it. I've, I kind of take what it's taught me and apply it to my life. Like, I don't really see what there's to be sad about. You know, it's, it'd be really emotional like leaving the people here, like people that we've kind of grown together with in the last 12 days. Like familiar faces, like we're not going to see them. We might see them like three or four times a year or something. But like realistically, we're not going to see each other nearly as much as we've seen them in the past 12 days. So that'll be quite emotional. I mean, being in the group, having to sort of um, able to portray my views and do it confidently. I think I've grown in that part because I was, I'm kind of shy, I think you've realised. Um, having to speak out loud and share my views with people and not be fearful what, what they, they'll think of it. Um, in that sense, um, I've grown because then now I can go back and be sure what I've learnt here is the truth and what I say is my opinion and I don't think anyone can judge me. I've always been like, you know, like, kind of like, Kind of uh, the funny guy, with the, you know, kind of like you know, sense of humor with the playing jokes. But I think he has made me more aware of the situation around me and like the people around me. And like, I do think I've uh, matured and uh, more understanding now. And uh, I've kind of grown up as a person, not literally, because I was already six foot four. It's made me see things in a different perspective. I'd say, like, because I always knew that there was violence here, there is anger here, but there's also got to be happiness. 
and this has given me the opportunity to do that and seeing some of the things that we've saw it's made me feel a bit like more mature about things and I really hope that I don't, we all don't get home back to the UK and it just be a trip and it ends there.